Courtney welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing so very well um, I have had a heap of um, sort of chattiness intrigue uh, I posted about my uh, Japan travel journal over on Instagram a little bit recently and I've been working in it on and off um, for the past year almost coming up for a year that I've been working in this and it's not finished and I was going to wait till I finished before I did a flip of it or any sort of any sort of thing for that matter but a few people are uh, itching to see kind of what's inside it won't be a very long video of course you probably will get a flip when it's finished a silent flip if i'm going to do this video now uh but this is a sojourner folio in the tri color i can't quite remember what her actual name for this is i call it the crayola it's got the poppy the turmeric and the rose of sharon on the inside and that is the journal that i took to japan with me and the insert that i used was actually one of Sojourners as well and I obviously covered it because when I had finished well when I finished the journal I would probably still want to use the cover again so I took the liberty of just covering it and laminating it and stuff with that sort of stuff my little monsters actually carrying the journal um, and so I had a lot of fun putting that together and I always forget that it's covered because it's always in this cover um, and so there you go a uh, quick little flip I'll do a little bit of chatting um, not too much because I don't want it to be too long a video and this is meant to be a quick one uh, but we traveled to Japan in April of last year as a birthday Mother's Day wedding anniversary trip for my husband and I I think we went for about 12 to 13 days I can't quite remember now and it was just him and I and we were staying around the Shinjuku area and we stayed in an Airbnb um, and I've still got lots of things and places to sort of fill up as well um, which is always a work in progress we did take my kids to my mom's which is why Delunga is here and we left from the Gold Coast so I did a little bit of the journaling about getting to my mom's and staying at mom's for a couple of days before we said goodbye to our teacup humans and then boarded a plane on the Gold Coast it was fantastic and I fell head over heels in love with Japan. I thought nothing would take the place of New York in my heart. But as soon as I stepped off the plane and experienced the culture and the beautifulness and the peacefulness that is Japan. Don't get me wrong, there are some crazy, hyper, very crowded places. But I felt so joyful when I was in Japan everything all the cute things um, and I did a lot of research before I left I watched a lot of Japan vlogs just to sort of get myself ready because I don't do very well in big crowds and I was really stressed about that and we there are some places actually we stayed in Shibuya sorry not Shinjuku um, so we stayed in Shibuya and we stayed in a beautiful Airbnb uh, that we hope to one day stay again we'll see and we had a blast we had a blast when we go again in october fingers crossed everything works out and we can go i want to do more of the traditional cultural things which we didn't do this time around um which i feel like lacked in our trip but with such a short amount of time and spending three days at disney tokyo disney sea and disneyland um i felt like we didn't get as much cultural stuff done or the traditioning the traditional side of japan which i think is just as important um we had so much fun at the convenience stores um if you want to eat cheap in Japan, convenience life is the best. It's probably not the most nutritionist for you, but it certainly kept us going and was <laughs> one of our favorite parts. We called it Lawson Life because Lawson had these chicken nuggets that we just absolutely love nug life was strong in japan we obviously did do a couple of dining experiences but we were trying to keep the sort of food budget way down so we could do other things uh we did the cool i think they're called pirikura the photo booths and don looks like a drag queen in his which made me laugh so much he looks so girly he looks like he's got lipstick on in some of these pictures uh it made us it made me laugh so so much we did some of the ufo catches 
I FaceTimed, video chatted my son when we went to the Pokemon store and took him around the whole store and got him to pick out some of his favorite things. And there was a little pink deer Pokemon, no idea what it's called. Uh, so I managed to grab a picture of that. I have more pictures from the Pokemon store and I hope to print them out and add them. So I did save some money and pop it into this little, some of the little bags that came with items. I um, bought a lot of vinyl stickers for my suitcase and some of them had were like special edition ones that had cherry blossoms on there so I've been using them to sort of keep little mementos in there. Hubby's like why'd you take money? And I'm like because it's a memento. Um, we were, I visited the Sailor Moon store. I'm a huge Mooney fan so I made sure that I documented that well and um, there are a lot of journaling spots that I haven't actually finished writing in like there are pages that are in the process which is why I kind of didn't want to do this video but I'm enjoying adding to it bit by bit and I still have a stack of sort of ephemera and things postcards that I haven't used up yet um, stuff from the Travelers Factory I've still got a lot of maps and things to glue in it's just working out what kind of stuff and how important is it to be in my journal like I had a huge floor map of this shopping center called La Forette and um, all we visited in there it was the Sailor Moon store so I cut out the floor that the Sailor Moon store was on I put the little logo there and just highlighted it and then I didn't need the entire floor map of a shopping center we only went to one store in so that's kind of I've got a lot of those ground floor maps um, because they had an English version some of them I will keep but like there were some that I just didn't need and obviously I need to sift through my ephemera to work out what's really important and what's not I um, bought a lot of stickers, um, lots of odds and ends. I've kept tags off t-shirts. I think I got this from Uniqlo and I was in there because my sister asked me to grab her uh, Chucky shirt that they had. Uh, I remember FaceTiming her. I FaceTime a lot of people while I was in Japan asking them questions about what they'd like me to bring home and there was a Chucky shirt for my sister who is a horror fanatic with a complete opposite. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed myself a Gremlin shirt because I loved Gremlins, the, the, f the fuzzy kind, not the crazy green snarly kind. Um, I've got lots of postcards that I love to use as extra tip-ins so where I can add more journaling or add ticket stubs and things. Um, I've got a lot of the Traveler's Notebook um, washi tape that I purchased, so I just did a sample and some of the big stickers that came along with, I went mad, I went to every single uh, Traveler's Notebook um, store in Japan and it was just amazing how they were so different and had their own specialty items. I highly recommend visiting them. Obviously this page is still very much in disarray and I think it's because I haven't worked out what I want to put there. I still have a stack of photos that haven't made it into this journal um, and stuff like that aren't sort of picture perfect or Instagram worthy or like the wrong lighting and stuff like that the Disney store we don't have Disney stores in Australia they all shut down which breaks my heart because they just didn't do very well here I think they do well now um, but I don't think they'll ever come back so seeing a Disney store was huge for us well me more so and then when you buy stuff from the Japan Disney store they give you this cute little Mickey sticker um, so I've got two actually so I'm hoarding my other one from my actual Disney journal we went to Harajuku and Harajuku was crazy, crazy busy. It might, I think it was near Golden Week. I want to say there was something happening, but there was so, so many people. And my anxiety levels were like through the roof. But I did get to go to 6% Doki Doki, which is this tiny, tiny store in the middle of um, Harajuku, which was really hard to find. I'm so glad Hubby is good with directions. Um, and bought a few things and used some of my sort of tags and stuff. Um, the, the guy that created the really cool uh, Hobonichi Weeks covers, the really bright colourful stuff. I bought one of his little brooches and a few little bits and pieces and the big clock in Harajuku. Um, it was just pretty cool. Grabbing some of the train station stamps. I remember watching Rainbow Holic's video that was talking about the um, stamps that you can grab at like big tourist attractions and the, the temples and things like that. I didn't find very many um, but I did collect a couple while I was there. So I grabbed one at Shinjuku Station um, just really popping down all the memories and what we ate 
and stuff like that. I love these little things that you could put your bags in at cafes. I thought it was such a beautiful touch. There were things that I just loved and moments that I just thought, oh, why don't we have that in Australia? Like they didn't want your bag to be on the floor. So at each table they had these little tubs that you could put your bags in and that that alone made my day like stuff like that is the, it's those little touches that we don't seem to have in Australia that I feel like we lack and I love it so this was the day that we went to the flagship store like the very first one in Naka, Naka Megaro and I obviously drew a little um, self-portrait it's where I picked up my fountain pen as my memento pen from the trip and lots of cool photos and I loved all the samples I really wish I could have bought one of the samples because they were so well beaten in and beautiful I love that the the streets have floral um sewer caps is that what they're called the thing the manhole covers have beautiful flowers on them it was just I, a lot I of love questions it. about what I used on my background pages I did pre-decorate my journal before I left as in like put color down so all these bright crazy colors are actually uh, distress stains that I had put onto a like um, acetate sheet and smushed it down my pages to get sort of that mottly effect and they were super super bright and this is um, distress stain and picked raspberry and I feel like some of the dilution sprays as well um, I also sprayed them onto an acetate sheet or I painted them on because my spray bottles don't have the best sprayers they're a bit rogue um, so I loved how they looked and I kind of went with pinks and reds um, because I knew it was around the Sakura season even though we missed out very we didn't see any but there was definitely a lot of Sakura uh, stationery and stuff like that which was just as cool um, and Starbucks had their cool I think I have a beautiful mug in with the sort of cherry blossom flowers all over it so lots of cool um, stickers and postcards I bought a whole heap of this sort of stuff um, capturing people's letterboxes which I'd like two cats and things because we walked to a little um, cream cream puff cafe which has these beautiful little uh, themed pastries that I just it was magical 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 and if you are in Japan I, I highly recommend going to visit it I had a blast it was so peaceful there was only one other couple there we must have picked a really good day or gone really really early when it first opened up and I painted the little um pastry puff and it was just I loved it so much and there's those so I've still got lots of writing to sort of document my thoughts and feelings and stuff like that um, so I have lots of tip-ins and postcards and postage stamps um, going to the Studio Ghibli store. And so I've got like our little tickets that are stuck in there. They're little film strips that you get and then the little maps and things. So I've got those in here. Um, this was actually embedded into the pathway. And so there's us at the entranceway. And then this is the map of the actual museum, which I loved. This was um, a beautiful stained glass window that they had in, at the front of the museum. They were, they, they were featured all around the museum. And I probably shouldn't have grabbed this photo because there's actually not allowed any photography in the museum. And I snapped this as I entered. I got in trouble for it, but <laughs> totally worth it. Um, and this is from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I just loved it. So I actually cut it out and made it like a, a round tip in. And I painted a little soot sprite and added the little paper bags and things that I've gotten as um, from purchases. And I picked up a lot of sort of Totoro uh, postcards, watercolor postcards, some of my collage sheets from Patreon. Again, I loved the grates and the covers, like the rain water covers. I take a lot of pictures of from where I stand because it's just a way of documenting all the places that I've been. I've got one in New York with the NYC and I just, I always, I'm always looking down and so I do have a lot of those types of things. More little film strips, um, little tokens and things like that. I think this is just that business card that's stuck under there. Yeah. So I've turned 
I think this was part of the actual um, pamphlet, but I didn't have this, the room or the size for the pamphlet, so I just turned it into a pocket, and uh, so there's lots of bits and pieces. This is when I was meeting up with the lovely Mitz. This is actually her Instagram stories picture, I think, that I screenshotted and um, hanging out with her at a beautiful little cafe that she introduced us to. And it was the day that we went to the Sky Tree, um, Tokyo Sky Tree, which is there. So you can see. And I took lots of photos and this was a display that was in one of their stationery stores. The stationery stores were amazing and I spent a lot of time. I wish I could have spent more and more hours in there, but we had such a tight schedule to do all the things. Um, so this is actually mounted onto on the top of a cherry blossom Starbucks, Starbucks bag that we got with some merchandise. Um, a really cute... Sanrio world um, shop that was just like every kawaii girl's dream. There was lots of pink. I wanted to pack this couch up in my suitcase. Uh, we had some ramen for the first time. Um, lots of little, even like the receipts. I think this was like, like what do you call them? Card points or things. Uh, if you made a certain purchase, you accumulated reward points. And obviously I'm never going to use my 14 points but I, I loved the Hello Kitty card so I stapled that in there. This was the first and only uh, coffee art that we experienced in Japan and it was with Mitz and I had the little moon and hubby had the cute little bear and that's her lovely beautiful journal there and um it was, I want to say, the Koi Fish uh, Hinamatsuri, which is the, the kids thing. I feel like if my Japanese, I did Japanese all through primary school and high school. And I feel like it was part of the children's day that was coming up. Or there was something to do with the Koi Fish. And they had these beautiful flags um, that were above the shopping center. And they were so beautiful. So I painted some of those. I've just got a little tip in down there talking about our ramen experience and the these are all the flags that were fluttering across. I loved it so much. And again, like I said, obsessed with the grates. I took many a photo off the floor. Um, Hello Kitty band-aids that I bought. Um, this obviously a work in progress page. I bought the special edition um, traveler's notebooks from each of the places. Uh, so I actually just stapled in the little belly bands and I've got my Mount Fuji one. I think I've put it near the back or I haven't put it in yet. But I've got those there. And then this was when we visited the Tokyo Station uh, Travelers Factory and I actually found the elusive pink Delphonics pouch on that day at Tokyo Skytree, which I had searched high and low for. And so I decided to paint a little version of it down here. It's not, you know, an exact replica, but you know, has the feels and that's what we're all about, capturing the feels. This is actually the window display. And I think that's as far as I've gotten. I've got like little bits and pieces sort of glued in here and some of the stamps that I did in the actual store. And I think back here I started putting like the dis. This is my little tea bag tag from a tea that I had at Disneyland. And so I've got to start putting in all our bits and pieces. Oh, there it is. There's my little Fuji one. And then this is when we're at the, the date we got there or the date we left. And that is pretty much it so far. I thought you guys would enjoy a nice little, I think I feel like I've spoken about this on my channel in like a uh, journals that I'm currently using video. Like I feel like I've, I've talked about this already, um, but I thought I'd do like a single, uh, a single video about it since so many people were really interested. Now my journal is from, the insert's from Sojourner um, and I think Ro still has Sojourner inserts on her website. I could be wrong. Um, but it came with a traveler's notebook, like a B6 traveler's notebook when I bought it from her. And it is, I think it's the orchid paper, I want to say. But it has held up amazingly. You can see that there's all that bright sort of distress stain on there. Well, you can't see on there because it's... But on the other side, there's no bleed through. And I've used colored pencils. I've used watercolors. And it's just been fantastic. 
nothing's really it's been it's held up to so much abuse i mean i've had a little bit of bleed through through here because i the pages got really wet with all the smushing but i didn't mind a little bit of bleed through i really loved i also did tip-in cards at the same time and i'm pretty sure the tip-ins were like project life cards that i just pulled through the excess that i had left over and it's created like a really nice sort of watercolor effect. I put down masks um, of circles and stuff so that I could do feature images like this one. So they had all this bright background and I, I double-sided taped a circle. And so when it went through, when I pressed it onto my page, it left a white space. And I did that in a few different places. Let me try and find another one for you. Um, one that's a bit easier. I did it a few times. Of course, now that I want to show you, I don't have one. Yeah, see, I put like one on the side there. So there's a gap if I wanted to draw something. And I had more intention of drawing and painting while I was there. Um, and But I didn't get around to it. We just were non-stop on the go. And I absolutely fell head over heels for Japan. If, I, if there was an opportunity for me to work and live in Japan, I would take it and take my family in a heartbeat. In an absolute heartbeat. Um, I don't think my besties would be very happy with me for doing it, but I absolutely loved Japan and I hope to visit as many times as possible in my lifetime. You know, we barely saw very much. We didn't really do Tokyo very much so that we're going to plan our next trip a lot better um, and not do the same sort of places. I am doing a week with my girlfriends, so like a week with them and then hubby's bringing the kids over. So we'll probably do... We're still doing Disney again. We can't not do Disney because that the kids haven't been to that one. But yeah, this is it has been absolutely amazing. These were all done with Jane Davenport Magic Wands, and I'm pretty sure that video is actually up on here somewhere. But yeah. That is my little old travel journal. I absolutely love it. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my very best to sort of answer them for you. Um, but it's very straightforward. I still have a stack of um, ephemera. Yeah, my ephemera, it's going down. I've got it in this little pouch. So I've got like bags that I've had from places and I'll kind of show you some of the things. This was the giant floor map that I um, have. And I've still got lots of postcards and some of the stamps that I, I stamped multiples of. Um, I've still got like metro stations and bits and pieces sort of floating all around. Um, and this is the <laughs> Starbucks bag. And I actually got the idea from uh, Rainbow Holic again. Like she was using it as like a portable bin. And so I've chopped mine down to do the same thing. I've got like the Tokyo Station um, card, which I might cut up and just tape them into the journal. I've got Metro Maps, you know, all all the things. Really? I've got, you know, all my Disney stuff still to use up. I've got some of our tickets. We got Fast Passes for, uh, I can't even remember which one this was for, but we didn't end up using it, but I kept it anyway for the memento factor. And stickers that I got from the train station guy when I asked if he had the stamp for the train station. And he was like, they didn't have it anymore. So he gave me stickers instead as a sorry, which was super cute. Um, John got very fluent in asking where the train stamp was. Um, I can't even remember what, it, what, it, how, what the question was now, but we learnt it from Rainbow Holic as well. And obviously I need to sort of tape in the Tokyo subway map into my journal and I've got like beautiful postcards still to go in more of the sort of traditional Japanese style I've got Sailor Moon ones I've kind of got a bit of everything um, and I am busting to put it all into my journal I also want to take photos of things like these things to sort of make tip in like feature tip ins if I was to photograph it like this I would actually cut out the traveler's notebook and tip it into the side so it was um a tip in like that I have lots of stuff that I um where have I got I also bought a lot of enamel pins from the Studio Ghibli store and so I want to photograph the pins in a line and use that as a tip in because I really love the whole idea of showing some of the purchases that I made that I obviously can't glue into my journal, but they're definitely a memory keeping thing. 
and something that triggers memories, which is what a travel journal to me is all about. I feel like it's about capturing the memory and photographs play a huge part in that. And obviously I can't glue in a whole traveler's notebook or a whole heap of enamel pins, but it's definitely something that I can photograph and then stick into my journal. Kind of like when I did the washi tape. These are all the black and white washi tape I found while uh, whilst I was in Japan and I absolutely loved them. I'm always looking for fun graphic black and white tapes. They're my favorite, my most used. Um, so I lined them up and glued them in. I even put some of the um, coins in a little, uh, I, I want to say stamp collecting or it was like a Project Life 4x4 and I just chopped it down and added those in. And these are the markers that I picked up. So little things like that, they kind of make it they add to the the feeling of the travel journal and i am absolutely loving how it's going i know it's taken me almost a year to finish but i'm glad that i didn't just try and get it all done then and there i feel like i'm taking my time i'm reflecting i'm looking through my photographs i'm thinking about what could i what could i possibly put in here that i didn't before um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying using all the tapes and stuff that I picked up and all the stickers and just, I need to take a photograph of my suitcase because I've actually bought a whole heap of vinyl stickers of all the different places that I, um, that I picked up stickers for, travel stickers and put my suitcase in like a picture of the suitcase because a lot of them are, um, places that we visited or something that meant something to me. So this is actually a picture of one of the stickers, like a big rainbow paint and I've got uh, cherry blossom stickers and I've got location stickers I think the Shibuya at the front here where is it here I have this is like a sh shrunk down version of it so I bought a large version to go onto my suitcase so photographing my suitcase and putting that at like the end of the journal um, is something that I, I plan to do as well so like little things I have so many things that I want to finish and do and um, pop in so I've got like my little Narita sticker here and I had like I photocopied some of my stickers so that I could put them in multiple places in multiple sizes um, so I probably will put this around here because it was the Atoya that I visited at the airport which is why there's a plane I love that Japan does that they have location stuff and um, it makes it like a whole part of the experience and I love the attention to detail and I just I loved I loved all of it and I want to go back as soon as possible if someone said to me would you like to go to Japan today and I'll be like yes yes I do let me see if I can just staple this staple this in because I can just feel myself losing it and I don't want to lose it so that is where my travel journal is at a more in-depth look at what's in here and to just sort of help you out and give you a bit of eye candy I don't show this baby off as often as I'd like to and it is one of my absolute favorite journals so like I said before, if you have anything you want to ask me, I'll try my very best to get back to you. Um, I may be able to do a journal with me in here um, because I've, I've only got a couple more entries to go. So we'll see if I can do a quick sort of journal with me of just playing in some of the pages because obviously they're finished pages that need to be finished. So maybe I'll do a, a finishing pages video for you guys um, because there are like nooks and crannies that need attention. Um, so I might do that for you guys if you're interested in that let me know down below and if there's enough interest then i will do that for you as well so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my little pocket rocket and i'll see you again soon bye